This is Town Square Sunday on 1420 WBSM, a place where people come together to talk about some of the good things happening in and around New Bedford, a place to share, a place on the radio for the people. Come together right now. Oh, and now, the moderator of Town Square Sunday, 1420 WBSM's Jim Phillips. Happy holidays, everyone. You're listening to Town Square Sunday, a public affairs show heard every week at this time on 1420 WBSM. I'm Jim Phillips. This week's guest is someone who has been here before. He oversaw his first municipal election in November and has been busy settling in during his first year in the election office at New Bedford City Hall. Welcome to Manny DeBrito, the election commissioner for the city of New Bedford. Today, however, we are not talking about elections. We are discussing an organization that Mr. DeBrito has formed with a catchy name of A's Before J's. I love that name. Mr. DeBrito, welcome. What is A's Before J's all about? Thanks for having me, Jim. Uh, A's Before J's stands for Academics Before Jump Shots. And, uh, you know, I've been coaching uh, locally the youth um, for quite some time since my oldest son Avery was about four or five years old. He's 19 now. So I've been around and, um, you know, basketball was always his thing. My favorite sport growing up as well. So as a coach, a big thing for myself was, you know, academics. Um, You know, what are you doing in school? And I I was seeing a lot of, um, you know, trouble for parents getting across the message that academics, you know, should be number one on the list. You know, we should be pushing academics. You know, a lot of times I would see kids with a brand new pair of sneakers every practice or every game. And, you know, as an old school kind of coach, I'd ask for report cards and their report cards didn't reflect the fact that they should be getting a new pair of sneakers uh, every game. I know how expensive they are. And, you know, even parents would say, oh, you know, my my child, I want to put him on track to be getting a scholarship at college. And I'm looking at the grades and it just didn't fit. And and knowing the fact that there's a lot more um, scholarships and a lot more money available for academics um, and the pool of money for, athle- you know, athletics is really, really small. You know, I decided that um, A's before J's was, was a, a great way and a great phrase and catchy and a way to catch people's attention. So um, A's before J's was, was kind of born out of my experiences coaching and as a dad with my own son and things we, we, we preached at home. Are you fully certified as a nonprofit as of yet? So A's before J's is a for-profit um, business. Uh, what we do is, and again, me coming from finance and our election commissioner, the whole nonprofit thing is, is, is really new to me. So I thought, you know, what we were doing, we were selling apparel and raising money and rewarding kids for doing well through scholarships or gift cards or what have you. I thought that made us a nonprofit, which, which it doesn't. So it's been a learning process. So that piece of what we're doing is a for-profit piece, even though we are donating um, proceeds to kids. Um, we are in the process of finalizing our 501c3 for a mentoring program, um, A's Before, which stands for Achievements by Four, which is kind of grown out of the A's Before J's concept where um, – you know, we're, we're trying to raise and we're trying to develop these well-rounded individuals in our community. And again, it all goes back to academics, athletics, doing the things that you're supposed to do in your home and out of your home. Um, and, and it just kind of, you know, fit and has grown into that as well. Is there a set place for A's before J's? Is it like it is a boys club? or um, So A's before J's basically... We work with any organization or school or team um, that sees a need and thinks that they want to implement what we do. So, you know, we've worked with local high schools, Bishop Stang, Invoke, uh, New Bedford High School, Westport. And what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll, we'll do a design for them and, the, you know, We've dealt with a couple of basketball teams. They'll wear them as their shooting shirts, let's say, or we'll, we'll sell them to the student body. We'll raise money from that. For, for instance, Bishop Stang, when they won the state title a couple of years back, my son was the captain on, of the team, and they decided to wear the A's before J's. I sold a bunch to the to the students. They 
really got behind it, and I'm, I'm really proud of that. I'm a, a Stang alum myself, and we raised a thousand dollars, which we handed out to the basketball team as a scholarship mm-hmm. among their seniors. So that's kind of how um, A's Before J's works. Or, you know, people go to our Facebook page or Instagram, and they just want to buy a shirt. We set that money aside, and and what happens is people will nominate kids or contact me, you know, about kids that are doing well and might not have the funds to um, have the nicest pair of sneakers or whatever. You know, we're not about not rewarding kids. It's all about rewarding kids for doing what they're supposed to do. So we've been able to give um, some less fortunate kids gift cards so they can buy their own sneakers and, you know, they are, you know, doing that other piece in school. They're, they're really on top of their academics. So uh, we want to reward them for that. So you have been working with schools in the past. Yes. yes. And I understand you're now working with another school. Yes. Grady New Bedford, Vogue Tech. So Vogue actually had us do A's Before J's for the boys' basketball team. Uh, Coach Waldrick, when he came in last year, thought it was really important to push that piece. So he invited us in. I had never met him um, or the athletic director. They invited us in and, you know, went really well. This year, they wanted to revamp their mentoring program um, that they have, a peer mentoring program. So they invited us in again. They know of the things that we're doing in the community. So we were able to come in, do a whole you know, couple of day training session for all the upperclassmen that we're going to be mentoring, uh, incoming freshmen. So that's about 300 some odd kids that are impacting the community. Um, the whole, you know, whole premise behind it was the upperclassmen would help alleviate the transition and relieve some of that transition going into school high school is a big jump for a lot of kids so they were you know paired up there the honor society kids and uh varsity athletes and then what the the goal is to pair those upperclassmen with some uh college kids whether they're voc alums or kids that you know want to give back to the community and now we have like a whole mentoring network because those seniors they're going to graduate they have questions of their own uh, and we want to give them support and empower them um they're going to be facing some issues. Some of these incoming freshmen have a lot of issues. Uh, we don't want to just kind of leave them out there. So um, then we oversee it as well as uh, as Vogue Tech as well. So it's really like a mentoring network. Um, so, you know, it's, it's all customizable with, you know, what we provide as, as services to these schools. So you don't necessarily do this training. There's in-school volunteers and other volunteer, community volunteers. Um, we did the training. I was there. Uh, my partner Frank Barrows, a couple other people um, that are on our board of directors for Achievements by Four, uh, we're hands on. And then we had uh, Vogue Tech guidance, um, athletic director uh, Ryan Sylvia was there, and uh, Wally Williams, and uh, there, there was just a, a ton of people that were involved in this. And um, it just really kind of fits our principles of you know empowering these these youth to be able to provide these services um, among themselves and, and want them to give back and to do good things for the community. New Bedford is a beautiful place. We have amazing people. We just don't hear enough of these positive stories. Um, and it's time f- for us to take a lot of that back. And these kids are doing that. Um, I was so impressed with the student body there. I mean, intelligent and ideas and creative and focused. I mean, this was a Saturday training all day. And they have all these things going on, and they came back on a Saturday, and you're talking about over 100 kids volunteering for this. It, you know, um, I think the only people that were mandated to do this was the Honor Society, and everyone else was volunteer. So um, it says a lot about the vote community and, uh, you know, the, the type of kids that they have. You're listening to Town Square Sunday on WBSM. I'm Jim Phillips, and my guest is Manny DeBrito, the election commissioner for the city of New Bedford, but for this conversation, he is really uh, the founder, I guess, of A's Before J's, which is uh, really a self-improvement kind of group for young people. Um, There's a basketball connection for sure, but uh, it's really about getting kids to understand that you can pull yourself out by doing well in school. Yes. And and it's not just basketball. You know, we have um, different things. It starts at home for baseball. 
Um, obviously, the logo has baseball incorporated in it, and it's kind of a catchy slogan for baseball. Um, for soccer, goals, set, strive, and achieve. Obviously, the tie-in with soccer is the goals, and it has a cool logo and everything. But, mm -hmm. you know, we're really a social impact you know, company that's trying to use, you know, social messages to get it out there and to empower these kids, empower their parents, spread a good message. Um, the beauty of it is kids are seeing these shirts. I see them everywhere, and I don't even know the people that are wearing them. It's, it's really great to see. Yeah. But kids are seeing these shirts, and, I, you know, there was a story. Um, we actually were, were here on BSM a couple of years back. A young man had saw one of the shirts, and he was getting bullied in school for getting good grades and not having nice sneakers. And he said, well, my motto is A's before J's. So he's talking about this, and it got back to me. And I've been mentoring this, this young man ever since. Yeah. You know, I trained him in the summer in basketball. Um, we were able to provide him with new sneakers. He was going into high school. And, you know, this young man also bought a pair of sneakers for his younger sister because he had money left over. So this is the type of kids that, you know, we're, we're dealing with and we're helping. Um, and, and, you know, they understand and the motto is spreading. You know, people like it, people like yourself. I, I appreciate the fact that people get it. And, you know, they understand how hard it is. It's We, we live in such a materialistic world. Um, you know, everything is the Jordans that you're wearing and the clothes that you're wearing, mm -hmm. and, you know, that's fine and good, but really, where, where's the substance? Where's the accountability? Where's, you know, the value of, of an education? Um, I I was really blessed to be able to get a great education. And, you know, my parents came from Cape Verde without much of an education. So they really pushed that, even though they really didn't understand what that was here. Um, you know, it was about college and going to school and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they really supported us in that. So that's always been a message in my home as well. Um, so, you know, to be able to spread that to the community, I feel like I'm blessed to be able to do so. So how many kids on, on, on any day, the mm -hmm. 22nd of December here, 21st, whatever it is, uh, what, um, how many kids are you working with at this time? Uh, well, I, I coach my own basketball team, so I have those kids, and again, they're getting that message on the regular. There's certain sure. things that we talk about, you know, about behaving at home and in school. This team that I have this year might be the nicest group of kids that I've ever had, yeah. which – you know, it's funny because at the same time you want them to be animals on the basketball court, and it's it's considered detriment. But they're eager to learn. The parents are great. Um, so you know, I run the Mount Camel program. We have about twenty boys there. Um, I mentor kids. I'm around kids all the time. I mean, whether they're calling me, their parents are calling me for advice, or so. I mean, you're talking about hundreds of kids, and then you're talking about kids that are wearing our stuff, and their parents are using our apparel and our logos as teaching points um so it's a great feeling you know in, in to see people and have parents hey congratulations and thank you for what you're doing for the community um it's great so we've you know we've we've created a nice little uh niche for ourselves and a nice little uh foundation and we're just looking to do more and we're going to continue to do more Okay, so um, the program is funded. You're a private company. Yes. That's what you are the, now. Yes. And so there's uh, there's donations, but uh, yes. is, there, is there a charge to be involved? So um, obviously the charge for the, the for-profit the, the is, is buying the apparel or working with us and then, yeah. you know, selling the apparel, and then we're giving back from those proceeds. Um, the nonprofit, what we're, we're hoping to do with that, with the mentoring, is to be fully funded ourselves. So what, what happens is, um, for instance, we went to Holy Family. They wanted to do the A's Before J's program. Um, so we did the apparel stuff with them, and they were asking for a mentoring program and, you know, what it would cost and what, you know, what have you, and they don't have money for that. And a lot of schools don't have money. So the idea is to fully fund ourselves and reach out to corporations, grants, the government, um, and be able to go into a school. You have a need. You have kids. Here is our mentoring program. If you don't have the money, it doesn't matter. We have the money. Um, we've raised this money ourselves. So that's once we get our official 501c3, that's our next step to fully fund ourselves so we really don't have to worry about you know, funding from the schools. Um, how long has this program been in existence? Now? So A's before J's, we're going on three years now. Mm -hmm. um, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing ride. Um, 
you know, we started, we, we, we started, it was an idea with a, a friend of mine who was doing some apparel and it kind of came out of nowhere and it's been great. Um, we did the E4All program, E4All South Coach, which is a small business entrepreneur mm-hmm. program. We were able to do that. Been on. Um, and we've learned so much there and, and the networking and just met a bunch of great people uh, doing that. I owe a lot of what I'm doing now as election commissioner to the good works I've done in, in E4All because I'm out there. People know of me. Uh, when I interviewed with the mayor, I had never met him before, but he knew um, of A's before J's and E for all. So, um, you know, it, it, it's great. I care about the city. You know, the youth I've been invested in a long time and now as election commissioner, it's been great. Um, you know, we, the mayor's taking a turn on the hardboard. You know that, right? No, He's a basketball I, player. I, I have, we haven't talked about that yet. Now I, now that I know, we'll be, we'll be discussing that. Um, <laughs> And then uh, a achievement couple of years spot. ago, there was a, a, the, a basketball court set up downtown in Bedford. Yes, they had a day, they had a day of basketball. The mayor played. Yeah, so and we actually did. Uh, we did the third eye open downtown this year. Right. A's before Jays um, put on the three on three tournament outside of uh, in the Carter's parking lot. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. It was such a great time, great turnout. Um, so you know we're looking to do that again every year. Uh, and then I was saying that uh, A's before achievements by four, uh, we did we developed our board just over this past year we've been taking meetings and really laying down the foundation for that so that's just about a year old as well so we're fairly fairly young we're fairly young you be going into other schools you feel that's the goal i you know my goal is to be in every single school you know whether it's training whether it's our program whether it you know whatever it may be or you know if we can't be a fit to be able to bring in other uh, nonprofits and other organizations that may fit a little bit better. So, you know, we have a very collaborative spirit coming from my background in, you know, business and working in finance and what I'm doing now. We're willing to work with everyone, and, and, and that, sh- you know, should be the goal, you know, providing services for these kids who, who so desperately need it. Manny DeBrito, good luck with the organization A's Before J's. And also, achievements by four. I'm sure parents love to focus on education. It's got to be, uh, if they can see a difference, it's, uh, it doesn't matter how you get there these days, as long as you get there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, really, thanks for coming in. Thank you and, for having me good, again. Good to, talk with you about, yeah, good to talk with you about this. We'll do an update at some point down the line. Thanks again. Uh, thank you, guys. Town Square Sunday continues in just a moment.